the Dragon Warrior is back! Sorry! When I first heard they were gonna make another Kung Fu Panda, I was like, yes! You know, once you've been on a magnificent journey, you always dream about one more. Nice. We're taking him even further, and we're putting him in situations and action that you've never seen before. Awesome! Poe's becoming the spiritual leader, and he has to find a new dragon warrior. Funny, because I'm the dragon warrior. We really try to design the Kung Fu Panda around Jack's personality, and it's only gotten more solid as these films grow. Sweet! because everyone's got a little Poe inside of them. That's kind of fun and ridiculous and embarrassing. What is it you're holding? A cookie? <laughs> it's pretty amazing to have the gang back together. Dustin Hoffman, Ryan Cranston. We got James Hong, Ian McChain, legendary. Ty Lung, what a character. I've also made some new friends. You're adorable. I don't ever told you that. Jen is a thief with a heart that longs for gold. She has a wry sense of humor. Nothing about you says dragon or warrior. And she has some secrets as well. Poe sees everything in black and white. He's a black and white panda, and in his world, there are heroes and there are villains. Well, Jin is a gray Corsac fox. You're a wanted criminal? You sound surprised. Is it surprising? She had a different, more streetwise, more slick fighting style that complimented Poe when they fought together. Go stealing! Very clever, Fox. You know something. Who's that? The most powerful shape-shifting sorceress. The chameleon. I wanted to play a villain. <laughs> At last, my destiny approaches. Viola Davis is a world-class actor. She's also got a magic spark of charisma, and it's intimidating. She has the power, of course, of transformation. She can transform into any character, big or small. I'm the chameleon. I do nothing but change. Skadoosh. Stand back. I'm going to kick my butt. The fight scenes are so detailed and, and also funny. You don't think that the bunny is harmful at all. <laughs> it looks so innocent, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> There's so much that has evolved in animation and technology. We had amazing advances in camera movement, like really cool GoPro-type action camera stuff that we've seen a lot in live-action films. We really feel like we're there with Poe as he's fighting everyone because the GoPro camera is bringing us right into his POV and then swinging back around. It's really dynamic. Wow, that was close. There's a real richness to this world. It starts off in the Valley of Peace, which is very rural, and then goes to Juniper City, which is massive in scale. It's really world building at its finest. I think it's an extension of something that we really haven't seen. But it's an enormous bustling city that has all different species of inhabitants. It wasn't just a location. It was an entire universe with ages and ages and years and years built upon top of it. If you look around a corner, the streets can go on forever. A lot of stairs, the signage, and the way the buildings are all crashed into each other. Can't you even die right? Chameleon's Fortress was a really cool thing to design. We used Tao Tia and Tulu architecture to create something new that overlooks the city and feels very ancient. The Tippy Tavern was the area where we were trying to tell that they've traveled way far from home. And then we changed it all around to make it tip and spill over just made it so funny. Every single aspect of this film was designed to make you feel like you're on a roller coaster ride. You're gonna be moved, you're gonna laugh along the way. I love to see it evolve. The fight scenes are so detailed, raise the bar up. They are also extremely funny. No spoilers, but dang, this movie's a thrill ride. <laughs> Ah!